Hello, everyone. I want to share with you my sweet potato experiment. I found these potatoes, store about potatoes, in my pantry, and I decided to plant them outside on July 3rd. A week later, this is what they look like for sweet potatoes. So now that they are vining out, I'm taking this opportunity to root some of the vines to make them sweet potato slips that I will plant probably someplace else because this container is not going to be large enough to accommodate the amount of slips, probably 10 to 15 that I'm going to grow. So I took a, a milk bottle and I'm inserting it in the soil because I want to continue to root these outside so that there won't be a problem uh, acclimating them to the next space that I'm going to be putting them in. So I want to keep them in full sun as they root. Now usually we don't do that, but this is experiment. And if I see that the leaves are wilting in any way, then I will go ahead and move them inside or where there's some shade. So I'm continuing to cut off vines, removing the lower stems and inserting them into the water. And that's rainwater, by the way. And just so it doesn't topple over, I am uh, firming the soil up around the container. And so I took some leaves from all four plants. And I'm moving along to the other uh, bed. And you see those leaves in my hand? I want to keep those because young, tender, sweet potato leaves taste delicious. And I would stir fry those with some garlic and some small shrimp for lunch. I may even add a cup of okra pods and slice of the tomato. That'll be interesting. Now right there, that one is already rooted that I was able to pull up. So I'm just gently pulling back the soil and I'm going to insert the rooted slip already, uh, rooted already and put it into the soil and firm it up around it. And then I need to identify it so I'll know that that's one that was moved. So I won't cut off of it anymore. And so I see a little twig. So I'll put that there until I can go out, go into the greenhouse and get a uh, marker. So now I'm back with the marker and I'll put a label on it later. That's it, guys. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. Thanks for watching. Bye now.